The health of this Polish river is being tracked in real time. This AI-driven autonomous device uses low-cost disposable sensors made of paper to check on the water of lakes and rivers. Each day, it replaces the sensor with a new one from a roll that lasts 12 months, like analog camera film, which ensures lab-grade accuracy. The invention has been named the winner of the James Dyson Awards Global Sustainability Prize. It's called WaterSense and is the brainchild of Philip Budney, a PhD candidate at Warsaw University of Technology. This is a floating platform that are able to measure more than 25 physicochemical parameters of water quality, inland water quality, and it floats, measures the, the parameters, and then shares the water quality on our web platform. A micro hydro generator with solar assist powers the station, allowing long deployments that need little maintenance. Its AI models are trained on historical and live sensor readings, which can detect anomalies and forecast pollution events up to 72 hours in advance. Budney said that means it can provide earlier and more explainable alerts to authorities. For example, predict and, uh, and uh, act before the eco ecological disaster happen to save lives, not only human, but also the nature and ecosystem. So it's fully powered by our own uh, machine learning algorithm with artificial intelligence inside. The Dyson Prize comes amid rising concern over the quality of water. A recent EU report says that across Europe, most surface water bodies remain below good status, affected by chemical pollution and farm runoff. And in England, official data showed water companies released sewage into rivers and coastal waters for a record 3.6 million hours in 2024. The WaterSense team says the combination of the paper sensors, onboard power, and predictive analytics could help authorities move from sporadic sampling to continuous monitoring and earlier alerts during events such as sewage spills or agricultural runoff. More than 20 prototype units are being tested in Poland with utilities and local governments, and a wider European rollout is in the works. We definitely need to do some work, and uh, we are contributed to that to drive the world and Europe towards cleaner inland waters.